Welcome to another episode of Practical Organic Living. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to clean the Alma Igloo Cube. There's two things we have to clean in the Alma Igloo Cube. We have to clean the roosting area as well as the nesting box. So come along as I show you how quick and easy it is to clean this. So one of the big reasons why we got the Alma Igloo Cube is because it's actually really easy to clean. There's a lot of pieces that you can take out and clean and then put back in. Whereas with a more traditional wooden coop, you would have to clean the entire roosting areas and also nesting areas. So the reason why you have to clean the roosting bar, even though there are holes for the chicken poop to fall through, is because they don't always poop through the holes. So because of that, you have to clean the tops of the roosting areas from time to time. But that's actually really easy because the poop comes off pretty quickly. So one thing I like to do is actually use something as simple as a, a wooden stick and just scrape the poo through the hole before I take the bars out for deeper cleaning. So now let's clean the poop. One of the things I really like about the Alma Igloo Cube is that you can pull out the pooping area when needed to clean. And what I actually do is I actually take the entire thing out because they tend to poop all the way in the back. So as you can see here, it's hard to reach this if I just let it stay on here. So let me take it out and set it down and show you what I do with the poop. So we actually try to clean every day or so because as you can see, it's actually not that deep. You don't want the chicken poop piling up too much because chicken poop is not good for the chicken's respiratory systems. So in here, I have a bedding of shredded paper. And the reason I like using shredded paper is because number one, it's free, and number two, it decomposes pretty quickly. And it's actually very helpful to notice which areas the chickens like to poop in more because not all chickens like to poop in the same area. So I know that Princess likes to poop in this particular area, so I usually put a little bit more bedding over here. The way you clean it is actually quite simple. You go in, take out what you need, put it in a bucket or something. So, in about 30 seconds, I've cleaned what I need to clean, and they will produce about this much poop and bedding a day for three chickens. And one tip I have for you is when you're about to clean the roosting bar, don't put the poop tray back in because the chickens will actually jump up and go inside and trample around the pooping tray, which is not what you want. Taking this out is actually pretty easy. So, Ahmed made it pretty easy to just uh, lift it. You may want to angle a little bit and just take it out like that. And as you can see, there's some dry poop stains all around the roosting bar because not all the poop fell in between the holes. So what I'm gonna do now is to actually just hose it down. And as you can see, you can get a lot of the poop off by just spraying this. You wanna be sure to spray from all angles because the poop can be in different areas of the roosting bar. So I'll usually spray it for about 15, 30 seconds and then flip it and try to get the underside. And now we'll let the roosting rack draw out for a couple of minutes before we put it back in the coop. Now we're gonna take the nesting pads out and clean them. And then we're gonna spray the nesting box area down with water and wipe it clean before we put in new nesting pads. You can see that there's actually a lot of dirt and dry chicken poop in here. And that's what you don't want because you can attract mites and other pests in here. So to clean this is actually really easy. All you have to do is take your hose and I'm just gonna wash it like so. And there's holes in the nesting box so you can see that the dirt will actually drain through the holes. So what I'm gonna do is just wipe this down because you don't want this to be very wet. Otherwise, you'll have mold issues and other fungal issues. All right, it's been a few minutes, so the nesting area is dry enough. So we'll put the clean nesting pads down here. All right, so as you can see, the nesting pads are actually quite filthy because you have a whole bunch of dried poo here. You have some dried feathers as well. And you have random bits of mulch from the chicken run. I 
think this is good. I hope you learned how easy it was to clean the omelette egg with chicken coop. It's actually really, really easy and really, really quick. So we hope that you found this video informative and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye everyone.